we're doing a parenting lesson, so we will uh, uh, separate objects from this one and then kind of just uh, teach you guys how to do basic parenting and pivot point so you can do those uh, animation where like opening a box or whatnot okay so let's start with this object here it's just simply a uh, a cube with texture and then there's a kind of like a camera inside that where it's gonna place its uh, its object in all right so let's make this one kind of simple first uh, edit mode I'm gonna be in face mode I'm gonna be selecting this top part right here this one has bevel though right so there's some sort of uh, added uh, detail to it so I'm gonna draw my selection by hitting control uh, and plus sign on the numpad but before that let me turn on screencast all right control plus you can also go with select and then uh, where's that select uh, select more right there you can do that and then it'll kind of grow your selection so I'm just selecting that part for the top part okay so and then I'm gonna press P as in Popeye and I'm gonna separate by selection so now this is a separate piece so when I go to object mode and I select that piece you can see it's by itself and we didn't do a uh, kind of two-sided uh, uh, well, we can, I guess, uh, add solidify to this, but uh, that's for another lesson. So I kind of separated that, right? So let's say we want to make that um, pivot on this one so we can just kind of opening the top, kind of revealing what's the inside, okay? So in order to do that, we need to make sure our pivot point uh, is at the back here so when we do our rotation, it actually rotates along there, right? So I'm going to go first to edit mode. I'm going to go to edge mode edge selection sorry I'm just gonna select this outer edge right here okay by having that selected I can then tell uh, my uh, origin all right or snap okay I can make my cursor snap to selected which is that edge so when I do that the 3d cursor snap to that particular one and then now I can go to my object in object mode and I can set its origin to where the 3D cursor is. By doing that, I can go to my rotate tool now. I can I can kind of open this one like so, and it will. You can do that animation, right? But let's uh, uh, make something where we're actually opening this box, and it's kind of spread. You know, all that kind of stuff. All right. So let me go back to. Uh, the box in edit mode okay and then let's select the parts and kind of separate them so I'm gonna select the back right here I'm gonna control plus plus that will guarantee that uh, that's only the selection right there press P separate by selection okay and let's select this part here control plus plus press P select this one control plus plus press P separate by selection this one control plus plus I mean if you didn't bevel your uh, object all you have to do is collect one side you don't need to do click plus plus to kind of simplify following along all right so press P selection and I think that pretty much it the the bottom one we're gonna leave it as is because it's a single piece now okay so um, we can now uh, start uh, creating the pivot points where they're supposed to be. Okay, so I'm going to select this first. Uh, I'm going to go object mode here. I'm selecting the back right now. I'm going to hit tab to go to edit mode and I'm going to select the bottom edge. Oh, edge selection. I think that's the one. Let me just move it. Yep. All right, so that's the bottom one. And then I'm going to go uh, snap the cursor to selected. Okay. I'm going to hit tab, go to object mode, object, set origin to 3D cursor. So now this one does that. I'm going to do the same thing for this. 
Go to Edit Mode. Be in Edge Mode. Select the very bottom edge. Mesh, Snap, Cursor to Selected. Object Mode, Object, Set Origin to 3D Cursor. And of course you can do your shortcuts here. Uh, there's a lot of shortcuts where you can just simply uh, do all that, but for demoing purpose, uh, you know, we're uh, beginner friendly here. So if uh, you're very proficient with that kind of stuff, then you're welcome to just just use your keyboard shortcut, of course. Snap to selected to cursor uh, cursor to selected object mode set origin 3d cursor and I think this is the last one okay and uh, cursor to selected object mode origin to 3d cursor so we got everything that would open up and reveal it okay um, yeah, so now we just have to simply uh, do our parenting, right? So I'm going to select the ground, uh, the floor right here. Uh, maybe we should not have put the camera inside. <laughs> it's a lot of object. Um, let me see here. The plane right here is going to call this floor. All right. And we're just going to hide that for now. Okay. And... Uh, let me actually put all this right here and uh, put them on a new collection. Uh, call this one the, uh, I guess, the box. Gonna move all this to the new collection, so that uh, and the floor, so that everything else from this one we can just hide, and then all we have is this. Okay, all right. So now let's uh, the bottom part right here. Uh, let's kind of fix this as well. Uh, we want the uh, the bottom right here. That's where the uh, cursor or the pivot point will be so I'm gonna go mesh snap cursor to selected and then uh, object mode set origin to the 3d cursor so this is the main object right here so this is the bottom okay this one is the right side this is the front This is the left side. This is the back side. This is the top side. All right, OCD kicking in that I have to put side on the bottom. All right, so we got all those. Now let's uh, let's parent them, right? So. Again, the uh, the right side is parented to the bottom, so you always select the bo uh, the parent last. So I'm gonna go here to uh, solid mode, so you can easily see uh, what I'm selecting. So this is the right side. I'm gonna shift select the bottom. <coughs> Control P. Okay. Object keep transform. Okay. So we do want them to stay in their place. So now when I move the main parent child is independent okay so I'll do, do the same thing here left side shift click the bottom which is the main parent control P keep transform and you could do this all at the same time I'm just kind of doing this slowly for demo purpose so that I repeat repetition you know is a good for practice so select this front shift select the bottom which is the main parent control P object key transform and now for the top and the back side, 
they're going to be kind of parented. So the top is the child, the back side is the parent. Control P, keep transform. And then the back side is going to be the child of the bottom. So Control P, keep transform. So now when we do this, when we select the back side and then do our rotation, it opens that up. And then this can be animated separately. All right. There is that. And then when we uh, select the, uh, the bottom, then move it, the entire thing moves, right? So let's kind of do our simple animation here. We want to kind of open it, and then it all kind of opens up, right? So this is a, learn, a lesson in changing pivot point, changing cursor position, and simple parenting so let's start our animation i'm going to have my <coughs> animation tool right here uh, open so you can easily kind of see it but you can also do uh, orthographic like so okay so let's start uh let's see so it's not too boring uh how long does it take let's go 20 frames each okay so rotation that would be the uh, x-axis uh, we haven't done the oh yeah I was in location no wonder all right right here so the rotation right so <coughs> we're gonna x-axis right click insert single keyframe because that's the beginning of the rotation which is no rotation then 20 frames in we wanna I guess it's going to go straight on that one. Minus 90. Right click to keyframe it. We're selecting the back side. So from 20, x axis, 0. Then we go 40 frames. We, oops, x axis, minus 90. Right click insert single keyframe so when we scrub this all right there it is all right um, let me see uh, adding a uh, a solidify modifier to this just so that it kind of gives it a little thickness there folks okay do the same thing on this one Yeah, I, I guess we can do that. Solidify. Now that we have, um, uh, so it just gives it a little thickness. All right, and then for the inside also, we can do uh, add a new material. Just make it kind of like. dark brown okay so let's say for this one uh, I'm gonna go select uh, I don't know I don't wanna apply the solidify just so that it looks a little bit thicker so that would work okay let's just leave it like that it opens up like that and then let's say on 40 that's when this thing starts to rotate that way which is the y-axis right so right click single keyframe and then 40 to 60 we open them up like so minus 90 right click single keyframe do the same thing here then we'll go to 80 90 degrees instead of minus and then this one finally that will be X to 100 frames, positive 90. All right, so if we play our animation on loop. It's probably going to 150. All 
All right. So there you have it. So if you want a little bit of uh, okay, then let's open our little cheesy. All right. And of course, if you want to, that's like really bad, super slow in, you know, if you want to add some uh, personality to the opening, of course, that's uh, all in a, we go to animation, we go to our function curve, graph editor, okay, so the, uh, the rotation okay you want it to go fast when it's opening so select the handle it's kind of reverse that one so when you play it all right so I mean if you just I guess uh, wanting a different kind of approach to the opening you know want to give it a little bit of a speed All right, this one right here. I'm gonna press A to select everything, then dot to frame all, okay? So, let me see. So what I do each one, you won't see it like this. I'm gonna press A to select all the keys and then press dot on the numpad to center everything. So let's see on this one. Just at the beginning, I do want the when it's closing as uh, uh, as slow. All right, we kind of get everything. Yep, uh, maybe not this one. All right, let's take a look. So when it So it has that kind of force opening and then slowly kind of. All right, and uh, let's uh, kind of show the floor. And I didn't apply the solidify so we couldn't change the color on this one, but that's fine. So, so it gives a little thickness. It doesn't look like it's pa too paper thin. All right. And that concludes the lesson.